Sandra Neil. Hey, Neil and I are fishing down here at the Little Miami River. That's a nice one, Paul. Get you up. Just in the Morrow area. Um, the bite's been rough. All right, Barbell, you said that, uh, do I have the balls to um, lip a sauger? Oh my gosh. Why I don't. Do you do that? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice, man. That's a good one. Yeah, we got some tonight. All right. Um, but the bite, I don't know, what do you think? It's been rough today. It's been rough. I mean, I've been fishing most of the day and it got a little bit. This is why you don't lip a sauger guy. I was trying to show off and you know, I could have just. let me see your finger. Why'd you do that, Paul? What the heck? Because they lip them in the videos. They, no Because they're badasses, but I'm not. I'm just an old man with a bloody thumb. <sighs> Should we have dinner tonight? What do you think? This was cut on a red worm. A bunch of red worms. All the red worms I have. Let's close out this video. We're gonna go south, a little Miami, all the way down to Milford, where I catch catfish and drum and all that fun stuff. We'll see you in just a sec. Hey, what's going on? It's a new day, a new week. Let's uh, hit up some old spots. Um, maybe do the East Fork Little Miami River in a spot I haven't been to since early spring. We are about 64 degrees today, and uh, we're gonna. We're gonna see if we can get on some fish. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Nothing, nada, zilch. Let's move on. Let's hit up the Little Miami River. Hey, good morning. Well, afternoon. We're about one o'clock. Not the best fishing time, but uh, we'll do what we can. Um, I have a tiny little catfish that I caught recently on a red worm on this line. See if we can get uh, some larger catfish. Got some red worms on that line out there in that still water coming off that current. And uh, we're at the Little Miami River here, my hometown, and we're gonna see if we can get uh, I'm going for anything today, man. I want uh, river carp suckers. I'll take carp. I'll take catfish. I will take buffaloes. I'll take red horses. Um, I'll take anything. Let's have fun. Uh, we had some rain the last couple days. The water is still a nice little bit of flow. Filled out a little bit. The bite has been tough today, though. Pressure's high. Um, so we'll see. All right. Like we still got the channel cat on here getting some bites on this guy but i don't think i have anything on there all right something really small Something really small. Is it another baby catfish? <laughs> it's the exact same thing we have on that. Well, we got a lot of baby catfish in this area, like in my uh, worms, and they're probably who've been bugging me all morning. So I'm gonna release him over here. Man, how many, my, how many of these am I gonna catch this morning? This is three, three baby catfish. I might have to move out of this area.
Got anything? Feels like another baby cat. Jeez, old Pete's. That's four. Four little baby cats today. Jeez, old Pete's. Guys, where's mom? Where's dad? <sighs> well, the forecast didn't call for rain, but um, we got it. So I still got the poles out there. Hang out underneath this tree. Uh, maybe the bite will pick up a little bit with the rain. I don't know. We'll see. Finally got something that doesn't feel like a baby catfish. Kind of feels like a log, <laughs> but it's definitely a fish. Channel cat. Hey, look at those line twists. Well, the slightest, tiniest a little upgrade on our day is just a slightly larger channel cat. That's five cats all day. Just a tiny guy. All right, we're on with two. Oh. God, I got it. I thought I lost the hook. Oh. Hey, look at that, we got some bait fish. Now let's see what we can get with this bait fish, eh? Let's put you out there for a few minutes. I think I got something tiny again. I feel like if I had anything at all. Oh. New species for today, just a little bluegill. All right, let's see if we can get any uh, luck on the uh, cut bait bluegill head. That is just gonna be a Carolina rig. I had something on the bluegill head and I lost it. Another one of you guys, huh? Where'd 
We're probably looking at another baby catfish. Ooh, a little heft to him. Maybe a medium drum, medium the small drum fish. Let's call it, there it is. <laughs> medium, the, medium the small drum fish. I called that. Uh, not a super exciting day, guys, but it, oh. Oh. Oh, he swallowed that. I thought a drum fish would be coming my way. Freshwater drum, but... Sorry, buddy. Hey, show me that little bit of that energy you had. There you go. It is a really beautiful foggy night here on the Little Miami River. Not many bites, just a, uh, you know, Four or five catfish, a bluegill, a couple shiners, and a drum. Oh, oh, thought I heard that bell shaking. Does somebody want that bluegill head? We shall see. Shut up, Bell. Man, today is the day of tiny channel cats. Okay, I got a big bluegill head right there. Tell your mom, your dad, your grandpa, tell them to come down for a buffet. We drop a new video every week on Thursday. They can't all be super exciting fish fest. Sometimes we're just happy if we get a bite at all, and you know how it is. So if you like what you see, we always appreciate a like, subscribe, or comment down below. Give us some tips or recommendations. Check out Sensi Fish Dudes on Instagram and Fish Brain. Air and water temperatures are dropping, and the bite can be tricky as we move further into November. So catch us next week to see if we can find more of those elusive finicky fish. See you then.